Cars with parasols, diamond-encrusted owls, and no windshields whatsoever all figure into the modern rap superstars' car collection. Drake would occasionally head to his signature courtside Raptor seats in a 2010 $2.2 million Bugatti Veyron, Sign Noir edition. He sold one of the 12 Black Bloods back in 2014. Sometimes 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds is a little too fast, I guess. Even though in his music video for Started From The Bottom, he raps alongside an ice white on white Bentley Continental GTC in a gentle Canadian snowfall, in his real life, he drives a white 2011 Bentley Super Sports convertible with a black interior, easier to clean, I guess, and its 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 3.9 seconds is a little more reasonable, I guess. For slower rides and backseat meetings, it's the $800,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom Celestial for Aubrey Graham. The pristine white double R has been modified to have a fiber optic starlight roof, normally only reserved for the black version. How's that for privilege? Many love Rolls Royces for their spirit of ecstasy statuettes on their hoods. Drake had his $700,000 Rolls Royce Phantom Bashukan Edition outfitted with a diamond encrusted OVO owl on its hood. Think of that next time you listen to Hotline Bling. Machine Gun Kelly and Main Squeeze Megan Fox adorn LA traffic with their classy custom purple $244,000 Aston Martin DB11. This is what Chadwick Boseman would have drove if he were 007. It actually got stolen from out in front of his California home in late 2020, and LAPD recovered it a week later abandoned in another driveway. Two hard lessons we learned. One, don't leave nice things in LA driveways. And two, don't steal purple cars. Too easy to find. MGK also occasionally drives a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Benz S-Class, and a yellow $33,000 79 Camaro you see in his music video for Loco. Megan Fox must have really appreciated that last one, as it's very similar to the Bumblebee car that drove her to superstardom in Transformers. Machine Gun Kelly dreams of one day driving a $220,000 Rolls-Royce drophead coupe. Maybe if he's good, Megan will buy him one for Christmas. Christmas. Former MGK enemy and rap god Eminem has a crushingly opulent car collection. He spent some of that kill shot money, remember M's Machine Gun Kelly diss track, on a $110,000 1999 Porsche 996 Turbo. He actually bought this 1988 Le Mans second place winning 911 GT1 inspired car the same year his Slim Shady LP went triple platinum. Ferrari owners also got a boost when Marshall Mathers, one of the biggest stars in the world, bought a $240,000 2003 Ferrari 575 Maranello. M's thrill-seeking behavior only gets worse with time, as he bought one of Porsche's hypercar widowmakers, a $448,000 2004 Carrera GT. It's now infamous because actor Paul Walker took his last ride in one of these, but the 603 horsepower 5.7 liter V10 is still a big draw on highways and in parking lots. His latest death trap is a $600,000 2019 Porsche 911 GT2 RS, a perfect fit for one of the world's fastest lyricists. If it's expensive, Jay-Z's gotta have it. Like the new $28 million Rolls-Royce boat tail, Sean Carter acquired the world's most expensive new car, probably with Beyonce as a co-signer though. The car's color is very similar to their daughter's name, Blue Ivy. When not enjoying ice-cold $300 a bottle vintage Armand de Brignac from the Boat Tail's champagne fridge under its posh parasol, the Lost One rapper can enjoy his deep black $8 million Maybach Exelero. Boy, it pays to be the hubby of a diva. Beyonce gave him a 1,000 horsepower, $2 million Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport for his 41st birthday. And when Jigga Man wants to give you whiplash from whipping the whip fast, he parking lot pimps his one of 140, $1.4 million Pagani Zonda F Roadster. Kanye loves Kanye, and Kanye loves cars. Although he raps on Mercy, a love letter to the Lamborghini Murcielago, he actually owns a matte blacked out Bruce Wayne $750,000 Aventador, the Murcielago's successor. It's a 700 horsepower gift from wifey Kim K. I gotta get me a celebrity wife. The alpha rapper also owns a James Bondy $200,000 Ashton Martin DB9. Although 007 never actually drove a DB9 in any of his movies, he did drive a DBS in Casino Royale, which Kanye has also been spotted in. Our personal favorite? Ye's Howard Hughesy windshieldless $882,000 Mercedes-Benz McLaren SLR Sterling Moss Edition. It screams, what in the world is this and why can't I stop looking at it? Kind of like Kanye. Although Although it's only one of 75, to truly reflect Yeezy properly, it'd have to be a one of one edition. Like the mysteriously priced Ferrari 458 Special MM, 
or Eric Clapton's $5.4 million one-off Ferrari SP12. Wiz Khalifa isn't just on the Furious 7 soundtrack rapping Paul Walker's goodbye song. He is a true muscle car gearhead. The North Dakota-born military brat is a true patriot in his automobile collecting. He buys predominantly American. He loves his heavy Chevys, like his $37,000 1968 Camaro SS, his pearly white $33,000 1962 El Camino SS, his blue $40,000 1969 Chevelle convertible, his $23,000 all-black sinister-looking T-top 1985 Monte Carlo SS, and his $46,000 silver 1969 Impala round out his Chevrolet collection. His pièce de résistance, twin 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT8s, which he bought for an estimated $47,000 each at the time his platinum single Black and Yellow came out. Yeah, uh-huh. One of Wiz's 6.1 liter V8s comes in green, and the other comes in a, surprise surprise, a bumblebee black and yellow two-tone paint job. His 500 horsepower supercharged jacked up ride guzzles petrol like wildfire, with 14 miles per gallon in the city and 22 on the freeway. But when you're pumping out hits and selling out stadiums. It ain't no thing. Family time is 2015 Escalade time for the Khalifas, as the $82,000 vehicle used to take ex-wife Amber Rose and their boy safely to the Hollywood Bowl. Ah, oh, the good old days. Ah, oh, no. Big Snoop Dogg loves the 60s and 70s. That's reflected in the funk of his music and in the cars in his garage, like his $15,000 69 Buick Riviera, as well as his all-black 77 Chrysler Cordova, his probably $50,000 brown sugar 67 Caddy Coupe de Ville, complete with chandelier over the back seat, by the way, his $12,000 modded 68 white Coupe de Ville, and his tricky-to-price lime green lemon trim 74 Snoop de Ville. Although we guesstimated at about 55,000. The purple and yellow LA Laker themed custom 66 Pontiac Parisian signed by the team's all-time greats like Shaq, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, and Wilt Chamberlain is the standout piece in the Long Beach Natives collection. He once gifted this one to the late great Kobe Bryant when he retired in 2016 as a thank you for all the great memories. When he feels like being a modern man, he hops into his white $40,000 Chrysler 300C, you know, the poor man's Bentley, which was a gift from Chrysler for those TV spots he did back Back in 2008. At the ripe old age of 33, six foot five rapper The Game treated himself to a big boy toy, a yellow and black Bugatti Veyron, which he bought secondhand for an estimated 1.4 million. It's a 16.4 that used to belong to Iranian designer Nicholas Bijan Paxad. The Compton man that went on to marry his third great teacher, well, they're now divorced, also owns a blood red and chrome $315,000 Rolls Royce Ghost Series 2, a red and black $39,000 Chevy Camaro, a red $393,000 Lamborghini Aventador S, and a candy apple red $179,000 Porsche Panamera. On the road, other cars must call the West Coast revivalist the Red Baron. His standout Ryan is the all-leather-wrapped Ferrari F430. <laughs> And you thought your car got hot in the summer. On his Insta on the day he bought it, just spent all my show money, 200K, on a leather Ferrari 430. Cash. Maybe I'll regret it tomorrow. Maybe I won't. What makes Pharrell Williams happy? How about his Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren convertible, now worth close to $3 million because of its rarity? His down-to-earth public persona kicks into overdrive when the former NERD member is behind the wheel of his black 0-60 and 3.3-second rocket. Yeah, boy, Pharrell is for real when it comes to his love of Mercedes, so much so that Lewis Hamilton invited Pharrell along with him to race in his F1 car. Well, that was nice of him. For times of pretending it's his wedding day, he has a Rolls-Royce Phantom and a Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, worth $500,000 a piece. MGK must be pretty jealous of that, huh? His magnum opus is his black $2.5 million Ferrari Enzo. It gives the ex-Neptune member the Formula One experience on Rodeo Drive. Pray he doesn't lend it to Eddie Griffin. The super bass rapper and singer sits her famous derriere behind an all-pink $250,000 Bentley Continental GT. Flexing in true Barbie fashion, the pink print author's ride is delightfully excessive with chic linen seats, Beluga dashboard and rear with ash veneer. Looks like she's trying to compete with fellow socialite Paris Hilton, who also has a pink Bentley. The lady loves Lambos with a $200,000 Gallardo and a $450,000 Aventador, the latter of which you can see her flossing in in her psychedelic music video for Stupid Ho. All pink, of course. 
When she goes black, it's a $459,000 Rolls Royce Coolian, complete with champagne fridge, stars on the ceiling, and of course, pink trim. And when she's being silly, it's her pink miniature Fisher-Price Barbie Cadillac Escalade all the way, valued at about $300. WAP rapper Cardi B has a car collection, but no driver's license. She likes to profile and pose with her Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster and Urus, her Mercedes Maybach S-Class, and Chevy Suburban. Well, at least when she raps about him, she ain't no imposter. That's kind of refreshing.